Revelation chapter 13, and I read that's verse 6 through 9. We give honor to the Lord Jesus Christ, one God eternal, the Lord who made the world according to the scripture. Isaiah 44 and 24. I am the Lord who maketh all things, stretch forth the heavens alone, and spread about the earth by myself. John's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 10, reference to Jesus. He was in the world, and the world was made by him. Now Malachi 2 and 10 says, Have we not all one Father, have not one God, delivered us all. Yeah. So I thank God again tonight that I'm Jesus only. There's only one true God, and his name is here the New Testament church. is Jesus, the Greek word Jesus, J-E-S-U-S, taken from the Hebrew word Yeshua. Yeah which according to the analytical Bible dictionary of religion, Yeshua means Jehovah, Savior. So we thank God again that we know the name of our Father. His name is not Father, His name is not God. His name is not Lord, though He's all those things. His name revealed is the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank God for serving Him and Him alone. Now, in the main text, as we have our panel come forward, the main text I said, Revelation 13, chapter, I believe, start right at verse 6. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, and them that dwell in heaven. Now, this is talking about the rebellious church. This is the New Testament covenant. Mm -hmm. This is the church that has rebelled against God through the spirit of error and the spirit of the Antichrist. Read that again. And he opened his mouth and blasphemed against God. Yes. To blaspheme his name and his tabernacle. And Don't you see that right today? Mm -hmm. Where they blaspheme the name of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Everything is happening that is against the will of God. Mm -hmm. There is no discipline in the church. Yes. Right. Hypocrite preachers. Yes. Pulpit pimps. Jesus. Praise God. Yes. Women dressing like prostitutes. Right, right, prophet. Or clowns. Amen. Jesus. Number two people paint their face as a circus clown and a prostitute. That's right. So I say to the Baptist church, you can choose which you are. Amen. But ain't no circus in town. So therefore, right. maybe you better read that again. <laughs> and he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle. Tabernacle means church, read. Yes. And then that dwelled in heaven. Uh -huh. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. Make war against who? The saints. And the church of God is going to fight. Right. Uh huh. Thank and what? And to overcome them. Oh, wait a minute. He's going to make war against the church and overcome them. Now, the them actually means some. He ain't gonna overcome the faithful because the faithful gonna stand steadfast. But there's always going to be some who are going to be persuaded by this false spirit. Yes. Really? And power was given him over all kindreds mm. and tongues and nations, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the land. Slain from the foundation of Whose the world. Whose name is not written in the book of life. Now, once you are written in the book of life, that means you're saved. Yes. But you still got to keep your name in the book of life. I think we share in Revelation 22, verse 19, I think the Bible says that them that will not follow the word of God 
or will try to change the word of God words to that effect. Yes. He will take their name out of the book of life. So I'm saying again to the devil's children, the craft Lord Yalla and Joyce Myers, yes. who she said once saved, you can't take no name out of the book of life if it has not already been placed in there. So to take it out means at one time they were saved because they were in the book of life. Amen. But he took it out because of disobedience. Yes. Here today the church is based on the principles of good and evil, which is solidified and proven by the code of obedience. If you obey the word of God, then you are saved. But the word of God comes to change the individual. If a person submits to divine authority, that person is going to be saved. But if a person does not submit and allow himself to be, I would say, controlled by the Holy Ghost, discipline your personal self, allow the character to reflect God within and that character will reflect God within if there is a sincere heart yes. and all God ever asked for was for somebody to serve him in the beauty of holiness and I thank God for true light oh, man. we are the guiding light that sets the example for the rest of the world now you don't have to have a whole lot I believe the Baptist God did not send his love upon you because you are more in number and number but you were the fewest of all the people on the face of the earth. Yeah. Now, I want you to use for an optional scripture, 2 Peter chapter 2. I believe I want that one verse, verse 18. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, uh -huh. they are lured through the lust of the flesh through much wantonness. Those that were clean escape from them who live in error. Oh, those that were clean. Those who, who were set apart. Those who were saved. They what? I believe said they escaped? Yes. Oh, that were clean escaped from them who live in error. For them that live in error. We are trying to set a record for everyone who has a mind to be saved. If they can make that transition and fulfill the promise of God that in heavenly places he has a reward for you. Amen. There's no more suffering, no more sickness, no more death. Lord. Former things have passed away. Yes. We are striving for that perfection in Christ Jesus. We are striving by pressing toward the mark and by allowing ourselves to, you might say, be regenerated through the word the teaching of the scripture that we can be acceptable in his sight now again we're in a human body and the human body is subject to failure but as long as we keep the word of God first in our lives as long as we keep our minds stayed on Jesus hallelujah yes. and the calling that he has called us to will never fail Amen. and will never submit to the error of the word the false churches as many have done so let's keep our integrity with God let's be for real in our servitude and if God has called you out from amongst them set the example and I told you in times past discouragement is a weapon of Satan never let yourself get so discouraged until you start doubting the Holy Scriptures Hallelujah. Now keep in mind, only a few going to be saved when all is said and done anyhow. Amen. But you can make up your mind that you're going to be a part of that few. All right. Amen. That few has not submitted to the error of the false church. Mm -hmm. Glory. Now in our second epistle of John, I just want to throw this in. I believe I want chapter 4. Very important. And jump right in at verse 4. Second epistle of John. Verse 4. 
Read me verse 4 through 6. Okay. I rejoice greatly that I found of thy children walking in truth, as we have received a commandment from the Father. What, what, we received a commandment to walk in truth. Uh huh. And now I beseech thee, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment unto thee, but that which we have from the beginning, that we love one another. Uh huh. And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. This is the is that 1 John chapter 4, verse 4? Oh, that was 6. 1 John. Okay, 4. And chapter, uh, verse 4? Chapter 4, verse 4. Okay. Ye are of God, little children. Now that's where I want to go. And have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Watch close. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world. They are of the world, those who are not in the church are of the world, therefore they what? Speak they of the world. They speak things that pertain to the world. Yes. Uh -huh. And the world heareth them. And the world heareth them. We are of God. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that, he that knoweth God will hear our testimony. So don't think that our labor is in vain. All right, from my left, your man is Elder Maurice Wagner. And uh, to the middle of our uh, moderator, uh, Elder Kenya, and to my right is presiding Elder Mr. Smith. Let's hear them now. Two new segments as we keep this uh, this uh, segment going. And again, always refer to your scriptures, amen, that we have set so that can be a continuity, so that the people who are viewing by way of YouTube can yes. have a clear understanding, the direction in which we are trying to go. We are a true light. Yes. Yes. We are trying to save that which is lost. Hallelujah. We are not here for argumentative sake. Right. We're not here to fight with nobody except the devil. Yes. And we're going to fight him as long as we have breath in our yes. body. Hallelujah. And through the unadulterated word of truth, I receive penance this time. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. God's word and word be praised. Give him all the praise, honor, and glory. All honor, devil, honor, one, Prophet H. Walker. Yes. Like Mother Walker. Along to the higher ground, to honor the Jew. Thank God for them powerful, prolific words by one, Prophet H. Walker. Amen. Yes. Jump right into the lesson. Revelation 13, verses 6 through 9. And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, or his church, and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are written, who not written in the book of life. <laughs> of the lame, lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man or woman have an ear, let him hear. Yeah. That speaks for itself. Turn with me to the subtext in 2 Peter 2 and 18. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they are lured through the lust of the flesh, through much wantonness, that those that were clean escape from them who live in error. It's a false prophet on the land and the spirit of the Antichrist. They go, that's like one and one is two. Who, how can you learn the truth? Who is the true church? I hear it all the time. People are so discouraged they don't go to church. But nowhere in the Bible can you go to a church of your choice. You have to be taught. You have to have humility to be taught by a prophet. God rose up Moses in the Old Testament, the first prophet. And God in this testament, in this day and time, in this dispensation of grace, rose up one prophet, H. Walker. So you must have humility to be taught. If you don't have humility, there's a place for people like that. All the, uh, all the chaos on the land today. Why? Because the spirit of disobedience, the spirit of the Antichrist. Yeah. Two men getting married. Two women getting married. Yes. They're allowing sodomites to adopt uh, children, lesbians to adopt children. Praise God. What chance does that child have of, of being normal? Mm -hmm. But as the preachers get into it, to my immediate left, we have Elder Wagner. To my immediate right, we have Presiding Elder Ricky Smith. And they're going to bring out the scriptures clear as a glass of ice water. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. And uh, give honor to Jesus Christ, great God of glory. Yes. Our Lord, my Savior, my soon coming King. 
Love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for loving on me Amen. and us and giving us the great man of God, God, Father Bishop Abel Walker, whom I lift up before you right now to the honor and double honor to also the elect lady of the church, elect lady um, of the Walker. Bless God for her and her great contribution. Yes. Hallelujah. Uh, the great Amen. prophet went to the scripture in the book of Revelation, beginning at the 13th uh, chapter, in the 6th verse. I want to read that, uh, if I could. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God. And you see that today, as the prophet has stated, that those who are not a part of us, those who don't want to submit, always got something negative to say about the true church. But when you're talking about God's church, you're talking about God. Right. The same God that you say you serve, but you're talking about his people. You cannot say you love God but hate his people. It goes on to say, to blaspheme his name yes. and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Now, uh, you know, this thing about blaspheming the name of God, you blaspheme the name of God, you blaspheme his word. You don't believe his word. You speak against his word. There's nowhere in the Bible that God ever told you, amen, to baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. You've got to submit yourself to the teaching of Prophet Bishop H. Walker when it comes to that. Yes. That is revealed to the true man of God to give to the people. Anybody who want to be saved. Uh, in perfect uh, example is myself. When I first came to the church, I never heard about the water baptism in Jesus' name. Many of you have never heard about the water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins found in Acts 2.38. We're going to get more into these teachings of God and how the false church is saying you don't need all that. It's not necessary when God... Hey, you're not God. Amen. I say pray the Lord, saints. Thank God for this found. Thank God for our great prophet in the opening text. Amen. Give honor to Christ who is my life. Open all honor to his man servant, our father in the faith, one Father Asian Walker, that lady mother of our beloved memory and legacy, and to the household of faith. And I want to start in Revelation 13 and 7. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints, to contest the veil covering, to contest the wholeness principle, to contest marriage between male and female, man and a woman, to contest the family unit, praise the Lord, to kill the babies, three or four thousand babies a day, to make war with the saints, to make war with the church. Amen. Yes. And to overcome them, like Paul said, overcome some. Let's prove this over Revelation 12 chapter, verse 11. And they overcame him, who? The Antichrist. The spirit of the Antichrist. Overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of the testimony. I don't probably want to say, be sincere in your servitude. Don't get discouraged. Don't let nobody come tell you it's all right for two men to get married. Don't let nobody come tell you it's all right for two women to get married. Or it's all right to fornicate, you young. No, that's a lie. That's the spirit of the devil. The spirit of error, as the apostle brought out in First John, the fourth chapter. So as long as you keep your testimony, I would about to say, make your calling and let's ensure you will never fail. Amen. Thank God for the words from the preachers. I want to tie it in with uh, Daniel 7 and 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws. Don't you see that today? Yes. Change the law of the Bible. How they do that? through trickery, through subtlety, uh, through these revised Bibles, NIV, Amplified Bible, ESV. I can keep naming them. It's so many, <laughs> it's impossible to name. But that's taken away from the Word of God. And God, if you take away from the Word of God's proper brought, you're going to take your name out of the Book of Life. Amen. Why do they revise the Bible? They take out fornication. Yes. They take out sodomite. Anything to do with Jesus being God. Mm. All the scriptures from morality. Romans, the first chapter. Yes. About the sodomite and lesbian activity. They take out all these things. Mm. Because the sodomites and lesbians write these revised Bibles. Praise God. Think to change the laws. Two men. Two women can get married. Politicians. Then in politics. Then the church. 
then the pool pit. As the proper brought pool pit pimps. Yes. Creflo Dollar, uh, T D Jakes, Joyce Myers, all these devils. Excuse me, that's what they are, devils. Because they're not yes. teaching the truth. Lord. Praise God. If they taught the truth, man, the church would be running over. Yes. But I thank God for one prophet H. Walker. Amen. A humble man. Yes. Praise God. Who teach the truth. Yes. He's not afraid. Yes. Praise God. And then these people got bodyguards. <laughs> Goodness. And, and I'm going to say this. When Prophet Book came out, I believe in 2000, Some Shall, some shall Depart. Yes. And T.D. Jakes' book came out. And guess who? He may have been number one, but guess who's number two? One Prophet H. Walker. Oh. Praise God. That's why it took the book out. Not that it was controversial, because the anointing on the Prophet of God. Yes. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Like when Moses came down from that mountain. It's something about the man of God yes. that people don't like. Hallelujah. They hate the truth. Yes. Yes. But we are true like love, love the truth. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. 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 Where it's going for. You know, the Bible says the word of God is to set the captives free. That's yes. right. So, uh, you know, uh, this lie that uh, that preacher, I'm going to call his name, not even necessary, woman thou art loose. But notice he didn't finish. Loose from what? Thy infirmity. He told my loose from wearing a veil. The Bible talks about the veil and prophet preaches it. The preacher that preaches the lie is this spirit of Antichrist that we're talking about tonight. Yes. This demon spirit that's in the earth today. Yes. And let me, let me read this to you really quick. In the book of Revelation 13, our prophet, a great man of God, went to. Yes. Verse 8 says, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. You know, this pagan heathen festival called Christmas. Mm -hmm. Do you know mostly the whole world is of taking part, partaking of that demonic uh, festival that the Bible speaks against, that prophet teaches against. We're talking about saving a soul tonight. We're trying to tell you what is right and what is wrong. The false preacher will come to you with anything you want to hear. An itching ear message is not what you need. What you need is a message that's going to save your soul and turn you from the lie to the truth. Look at what he says now. Whose names are not written in the book of life yes. of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. So he's got a He's got a, a slick way of conning people, mm -hmm. telling them again what they want to hear. And let's go real quickly to the book of, I want to go to uh, Second Peter, prophet, great man of God, prophet Walker brought this scripture out. Second Peter uh, 2 and 18. Notice how he, he puts this now, of uh, going back to the scripture that prophet just gave in the book of Revelation, Second Peter 2 and 18 says, for when they speak great words of vanity, they allure through the lust of the flesh, those uh, through much wantonness, those who were clean escape from them who live in error. Listen, let me tell you something. These people are telling a lie in the pulpit, what the people want to hear, and the people are eating it up as if they're telling the truth. How in the world do you know what the truth is unless you listen to a true prophet? That's right. The children of Israel in the wilderness had the true prophet and they fought against that true prophet. And you know what happened? I believe only three of them came out. Out of that situation that God was trying to get them to a promised land. Yes. Get all of that mess of Egypt out of them. And they wanted the wrong way mm -hmm. and not the right way. Mm -hmm. We are trying to help you tonight by giving you the word of God that comes from our great manservant, Prophet Bishop H. Walker. And these people are luring you to the devil with fair words. And these slick, the slick talk and everything is all right. And God loves us. God loves everybody. God ain't going to love nobody. He's going to send it to the lake of fire. Yes, right. How many people in your church are sodomites and lesbians? Mm -hmm. You say God loves them. But they're going to the lake of fire. If you don't believe it, read Romans, the first chapter. You read the whole thing, but really get deep down into 18 through 32. Yeah. Praise the Lord, saints. Join this panel. The Bible also went to 1 John, 4th chapter, verse 4. We are God. You can stop right there. All right. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. God's church is based on holiest principle of right and wrong, good and evil disobedience, obedience. And the true church, we are God. We obey 
the mandate of God. We obey the doctrine of God. Yes. We dress like children of God. We act like children of God. We talk like children of God. We walk like children of God. We worship like children of God. Amen. We are God. It's a big difference between true life and the rest of the world. All right. We are God. You are God, little children. And have overcome. There they go again. How do you overcome? Through your word, through your testimony. The Bible says to remain what? Rooted and grounded in the faith or the doctrine and teaching, instruction. And you women, you keep saying, oh, well, God, I know my heart. But you, my like Papa says, just like a clown, makeup, jewelry. And I watch the show and say, oh, he's a, uh, she a professional uh, makeup artist. A professional? You need a professional to, to, to paint your face? I bet you look like a, a professional clown then. From a clown to a professional clown. Still the same concept. Praise the Lord. They are the world. The God of this world. Who? Satan. That's who they follow. They are the world. Therefore, speak they of the world. And the world hear them. Oh, the world loves their own. They love until the lie. They live in sin. The Bible calls them cursed children. Yeah. Verse 6. We are God. He that knoweth God hear us. If you're truly seeking the word of God, if you truly want to be saved, you're truly the proper walker. You're enjoying the proper walk. You're a follower of the proper age walker. If you want to hear God, or you want to follow God and obey God, do what? Self-denial, self-sacrifice. He that is not of God, hear not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Anyone who's not living by the holy principle of the Bible and following the proper age walker is living in the spirit of error. All right. Amen. Again, we thank God for all the uh, powerful words. Again, uh, stay in 1 John chapter 4, verse 4 through 6. A very uh, important scripture. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Greater is the spirit of God than the spirit of the devil. You can overcome the evil we're good, or by having the Holy Ghost. I, I, I dare say, 95% of Christians do baptize, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. You, you don't have the Holy Ghost indwelling. You still carry around those same Adamic sins that you were born into. And if you don't come to true light and get saved, you stand before a holy God, and, and you know the rest of the story. That's if you believe it now. But we are true that believe the Word of God. Yes. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world. Don't you see that? Especially on the job. They hate us with, right now I'm going through something, but I thank God because I don't laugh at the dirty jokes, I don't smoke, I don't sweetheart, none of that mess, praise God. We're taught not to do those things. Or oh, it ain't you with a down passion. Yeah. Talk about you behind your back, but that's all right. Because we cover by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. The world will love his own. Praise God. And the world heareth them. We are of God. As the preacher just brought up. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth, yes. true life, and the spirit of error. All right. False church. Amen. 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 I'm loving it, church. Amen. Why I came here to be set made free. And you can't be made free unless you hear the word and as the prophet has told us, submit. Humble yourself as Zadie L. Ricky tells us to. Uh, humble ourselves, the prophet tells us to submit to what you've heard and put it into action and live by it. Not just today, tomorrow, but until the end. Until he says, faithful servant, well done. See, that's what we're in this race for. We're in it to win it. Amen. Until the end. Yes. We are. We really are. Now, quickly, I want to go to this scripture again that Prophet brought out in Revelation 13. I want to go to verse uh, 7. Look what it says here. Get your King James Bible. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to wait too long. You should have it. If you don't, get you one. Right. Get you one. Uh, uh, Revelation 13 and 7. It was given him, given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them, and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. I'm telling you right now, church, we are at war. Yes. We are at war. That's why this thing, listen, separation is a commandment from God. We have to make sure that we separate ourselves from those who 
uh, as President Elder Ricky uh, spoke about, it, it don't have the same spirit as we have. Because we got, we're not going to let anybody intimidate us to make us think something different than what we've been taught. Right. When you've been on the property of Ace Walker, wow, that's what I can say about it. I used to wonder, and I still do, where are the people at? You say you want to be saved? The truth is, is here. But look, real quickly, go to 2 Corinthians 6 and 14, talking about this situation that people have got talking about coming together, and we all coming together under God. No, 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 no. If you're not the true church, under true holiness, with the spirit of Christ, yes. you're not going to... No, no, we, we don't do that. Yes, right. We don't fellowship with people who right. don't teach what prophet teaches. Uh, be ye not equally, uh, unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communication has light with darkness? Drop down to verse 17, wherefore come out from among them and be separate, saith who? The Lord. Yeah. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will uh, receive you to myself, and I'll be a father to you. Quickly, in the book, I'm not going to go to it, but in the book of, uh, I believe it's, what is this? Matthew 12 and 46, King James Bible. The people came to Jesus and said, your mother and father, sister, brother, I don't want to talk to you. Jesus looked around at his disciples and said, who was my mother and my father? Yeah. Sister and brother, yeah. who really is with me? He said, they that do the will of my Father is with me. That's why we remain with our own, because they got the Spirit of Christ. Yes. Amen. Yeah. I want to go to the book of Matthew, and again, we open up in Revelation 13 chapter, how the Lord said that his name is blasphemy. And Isaiah 52 and 5 says, my name continually, continually now, every day is blasphemy. Every day is a new church. Every day is a new teaching. Every day is, is, is this new prophet, this new evangelist. Come see him speak. Come see her speak. Every day they come up with a new lie. Now the man talking about he's trying to have a baby because he thinks he's a woman. He has been castrated. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to get pregnant. Well, you can try to the rapture. Matter of fact, keep on trying when you're in the lake of fire. Amen. You have a journey to, to, to try, and you still won't have a, have a baby. In Matthew, the 15th chapter, when you see, therefore, shall see the abomination of desolation, all this blasphemy, all this wickedness, all this uh, uh, terror on land, wars, rumors of wars. When you see all this, the Bible says, stand, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, the holiest church. There is a true church, one church, God's church, and it's based, again, on holiness, righteousness. You can't say, oh, God, I don't find a true church. The church that teaches all the Bible. The Paul said that, I have not shown to the to you all the gospel, all the counsel, all the doctrine of God. Papa spoke about those false prophets of dollar. They don't teach the Bible. They teach a prosperity message. Where if you have faith, you can't get them out of the ride. And throw stones at the true church. Oh, they always talking about the lake of fire. What well, about talking about the lake of fire? The Bible talking about being holy. The Bible talking about right or wrong, good or evil. So I'm going to follow the Bible, or rather, I'm going to follow Papa Walker as he teaches the Bible, as he amen. follows Christ. Amen. Having a great time in church, amen. Praise God. Thank God for the elders. I want to quickly, I'm going to stand in the book of Revelation, chapter 13. Move up to verse 3. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. Yes. And his daily wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast. This deals with when God went to Calvary, he took away the physical power of Satan. But through unbelief, the spirit of disobedience and unbelief, they, the devil got psychological power, praise yes. God. Verse 4, and they worshiped the dragon, Satan, which gave power unto the beast, Antichrist, and they worshiped the beast, saying, who was like unto the beast, who was able to make war with him? That's a bold statement to make. And you see that right today. The Catholic Church, the biggest hypocritical, they, why do you call yourself church? Organization, pedophiles, the lesbians, all that mess. The Baptists, Church of God in Christ. These things, as we brought out, the false prophet is going to be on the land. The spirit of the Antichrist is here. But the true spirit is here. The true church is here, praise God. Yeah. You have to make a decision. But God said in the book of Deuteronomy, Third chapter, choose life, and you will live forever. But people choose to go the other route. They choose to be a devil. 
They choose to be a sodomite. Yes. They choose to be a lesbian. They choose to use drugs. They, they choose to live in devilment. But that's, that's your choice. But we at True Light choose to live holy. For what? Holiness. No man shall see the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I said praise the Lord, everyone. Lord. I want you to go to the scripture that uh, our great prophet gave us in the book of, uh, what is that? The book of 1 John 4 and 4. Yes. Remember that scripture our great prophet brought out. Verse 4 says, Ye are of God, little children. Now, he's tr now this, this apostle is talking to God's uh, Latter-day Church, or should I say the New Testament church. Talking to true life. Talking to you, me, us. Yes. You are of God, little children. That right there got, I've just got, man, that, that wakes me up. I'm of God. Yes. I used to be of the devil, but I'm of God, little children. Now, yes. he didn't stop there and have overcome them because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Now, watch this. They, no, uh -uh, they're talking about the other fellows now. They are of the world, therefore they speak of the world, and the world heareth them. These preachers will teach you what you want to hear. These preachers stay up late at night figuring out, or they're going to make sure that the ones who got most of the money is doing most of the talking. Yeah. Uh-huh. And we have heard that in some of, you, some of these churches, if you don't give a certain amount of money, you can't get, you got, they, talk, they call it a loan. We're going to give you, not only are we going to give you a loan, you can't even come in here if you don't have to make a certain amount of money to give. Mm -hmm. Now, where is that in the Bible? <laughs> That's in your Bible that you read, Wrote or that you have adopted from of somebody else. But what I'm trying to say is that these people speak of the worldly things. Yes. They cannot understand the veil covering. And really quickly, for you all who say, why do you, your women in your church wear veils? Mm -hmm. Because we're taught by God and our prophet to yes. wear the sisterhood to wear the veil. Yes. Right. That ain't good enough for you. It's in the book. 1 Corinthians 11, 5 and 6 speaks about the veil in the church. And not only, we've read about not only in the church, but outside the church. In 1 Timothy 2 and 9, you want to know why sisterhood don't wear jewelry and makeup? 1 Timothy 2 and 9, 1 Peter um, uh, 3 and 3. You may have never heard of these scriptures before, but they're in the Bible. In Deuteronomy, I think it's 22 and 5, so you can't cross-dress. Uh-oh. Have a great time, church. And again, back to the book of Revelation 13 and 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, the Antichrist, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb. Now, God has a point of question, or he said, it is not my will that you should die, O Israel, or why would you die, O house of Israel? It's the person who disobeys the will of God. It's not God. God's an unjust God. Let's prove this. Uh, in 2 Thessalonians, Let's find out why their names are not written in the book of life. 2 Thessalonians 2, let's start at verse 9. Even him whose coming is after the work of Satan, with all power and signs, lying wonders, to overcome some. Let's find verse 10. And with all the sins of unrighteousness, unrighteous, and them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Yeah. You rejected the bill covering. You rejected a holiness, sober look yes. for women. You rejected male and female in the family unit. You rejected the, the water baptism in Jesus' name. You rejected one God doctrine. You want to say, oh, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, you love unrighteous. You rejected God's truth. Now watch what happened. Amen. And for this cause, God should send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. And all you preachers out there lie for the people because the people love it here. Let's prove the verse 12. Mm -hmm. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth. They had a chance to believe the truth, but they didn't want to. Why? Latter part of verse 12. But had pleasure in the righteous. Oh, they love to fornicate. They love to curse. They love to smoke. They love to drink. They love to party. They love to gamble. They love to lie. They love to steal. They love to gossip. They have pleasure in the righteous and rejected God's true plan of salvation, which is holiness. Amen. Amen. Have a great time. We are still in the book of Revelation, chapter 13. Again, exposing the false prophet and false teachers. Yes. And he doeth great wonders, 
so that he make a fire coming down from heaven on the earth. And the sight of men were seemingly this false prophet or this false teacher, yes. this false vessel causing miracles to come from heaven. Don't, I, what's not it? Benny Hinn. Might as well call him Benny Hill because yes. he's funny. He make you laugh. Yes. Like the comedian. Praise God. I see him blowing on people and they just falling down. He just waving his hand like he's some superhero or something. This is the blasphemy right. that the Bible speaks of. Yes. Praise God. T.D. Jakes praying for people. Uh, Tyler Perry praying for T.D. Jakes and he falling out. And all. This blasphemy. How you gonna let a sodomite lay his nasty, filthy hands on you? Mm. All right. Birds of a feather flock together. And verse 14, and deceive them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. You being deceived. You being deceived, O oh woman, thou art loose. You have to obey your husband, obey the word of God. You can put on pants, you can paint your toenails, you can do this, that, and the other. But what does the word say? Yes. Like Prophet said, when he was a young minister and he had questions, he would pray, and God would tell him, What did the word say? The word says you can't do this. Thou shalt not. Means you can't do it. Praise God. All right. Case closed. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And these false spirits, the Bible prophesied. But as President Rick brought, when you see all these things, run to the holy place. And that holy place is True Light Pentecost Church. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I want to go to the scripture our great prophet gave us in Revelation 13 again, as we've been, yes. we've been uh, bringing forth. And the ninth verse um, of that uh, 13th chapter says the conclusion of what, uh, the teaching that our prophet was giving us on this says, If any man had an ear, let him hear. That's right. It's very important here because what he's talking about is making a choice. Making a choice not only to uh, what many of you are doing tonight or today when you're watching this is watching us but you're also listening to what we're saying and now you are obligated to make a choice and the choice that you make is where you are going to spend eternity everyone uh, of an age in this church uh, at True Light had to hear something whether we heard the prophet uh, while we come when we came to the church and whether we heard him on the radio or on television or someone told us about Prophet Bishop H. Walker but what, what happened was God was testing the waters if you will in us did we really want to be saved somebody that really wants to be saved will take that spark of righteousness in them and go a little bit further Go a little bit further. I want to hear more. I want to be there more. I'm going to be there every time the church door open. I'm going to listen to all these videos. I'm going to watch all these videos. Lord, help me, to, help me to come to true life. Help me to be up under this great man of God so I can be saved. So if you have an ear to hear, we're trying to, we're trying to exhort you tonight. Oh, man. We want you to go to heaven so, so much. We don't want you to be a sodomite because sodomites are not going to go to heaven. We don't want you to be a lesbian. Lesbians are not going to go to heaven. I don't care what your preacher told you. Yeah, they're not going to heaven. Just like thieves and murderers, they're not going to heaven. Yeah. So we want you to go to heaven. So if you have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying, listen. Again, we thank God for the time. And we thank you for the word that you say. And we say to you, to a viewer, to a book that you have the word in your heart. Brothers and sisters, these are very difficult times. And we're going to have uh, uh, senior other books to come to have words. And then uh, we're going to have... Uh, uh, Minister Smiley dismiss and then we'll yeah. Thank, Thank, Lord. Lord. Thank God for the blessed word that went forth tonight. Thank you, Lord. Great compliment to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ, the one true God, maker of all things. Yes. Thank you, praise God, for our great prophet. God, true life families give a prophet in the panel hand. <laughs> the scripture from uh, Revelation, the 13th chapter. Yes. Go there real quickly. Man, because um, that's the only way to be saved is to follow the word of God. <laughs> the Bible says, uh, come and set the captive free. <laughs> you know, that's what the word of God is for. You know, 
in the Bible, uh, Revelations say that he that have an ear, ear, let him hear what thus said the Lord. So if you got a spiritual ear, <laughs> you better take heed. That's right. In Revelation 13, chapter, at verse 6, and he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle yes. and them that dwell therein in heaven. In verse 7, and it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. You know, we know this uh, uh, Satan, the Lord uh, gave him permission. But what the word of God said, I set before you life and good, death and evil. Now you choose, you know, and that's why God allows Satan to be an adversary in an individual life. You know, like the minister brought out. You know, Satan don't have no physical power in your life, but he can have psychological power in your life. And that's why the Lord, um, the Bible mentions about him, um, in verse 7, it was given him to make war with the saints and to overcome. And who was going to overcome? Those that are not rooted and grounded in faith. That's right. That's why the Bible mentions about make your calling and election sure. Yes. You know, and uh, as I never briefly touched on uh, in, uh, Matthew uh, 24 chapter, Prophet Daniel uh, prophesied these things. Yes. And, and Prophet Daniel was prophesied, said, when you see these things, all these abominations and desolations going forth in the earth, stay in the holy place. That's right. And that's all we got to do. That's all we got to do. Yeah. Yeah. Stand right. in the holy place. In other words, stand in the word of God. Yes. And just like a, a, a prophet, um, prophet Jeremiah, you know, uh, just like a uh, uh, minister brought out, God had a prophet then, he got a prophet now. Yes. You know, but the prophet Jeremiah had a priest to them. They say, we know that you're coming forth in the name of the Lord, but we're not going to hearken to you. you know, we're going to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven. Mm -hmm. Who is Queen of Esther? Queen of Heaven. Ask the raw. You know, we know uh, makeup and jewelry and Egyptian customs. Customs come from her. Christmas mm -hmm. come from her. You know, And instead of hearkening to the word of God, when Jeremiah spoke to him, they hearken to the Queen of Heaven. But thank God that we're not going to do that. Right. Thank God that we're going to. Like Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Yes. So thank God that we got a man of God. Oh, yeah. Lord. Thank God we got faithful preachers, faithful soldiers in the house of the Lord. So thank God for his powerful teaching by the elders. And we're going to call right. forth uh, Minister Smiley. Final words and dismiss him. Amen. Preaches a hand for the powerful message of Lord yeah. tonight. Amen. Yeah. I'd like to give uh, God, God all the praise and honor. Thank God for yes. for the words that go forth, where they do edify us. Uh, excuse me, right now my I cracked my tooth at work and, and half and everything. Uh, praise God, but everything all is well. Yeah. Um, thank God for everything that's went forth today and that we continue to stay steadfast in the yes. apostle doctrine and following the prophet as he followed God so that we all can get to heaven and him say well done and the, the main thing taken from everything that has been said by everybody tonight was we have to have three things and those three things are humility, obedience, discipline. You got those three things, yeah. everything else is going to be okay. That's everything right. is going to be together. Yeah. You'll be able to make it from this journey to the next, which is heaven. Yes. Amen. We all rise to be dismissed. Yeah. The Lord watch. The Lord watch. Between men be. Between men be. While we absent. While we absent. One from another. One from another. Jesus. 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 Jesus.